Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder, marketing master Jim Ackerman here with the latest episode of Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads. And you know, as I've said in the past, sometimes presentation is everything. I'm going to show you two ad specimens today. You tell me whether you think either one or both of them is good, bad, or ugly, and the relative merits of both. They both happen to be for car dealers, which are notorious, quite frankly, for putting out busy, quote unquote, ugly or aesthetically ugly ads. Take a look at this one, direct mail to my home. Check it out. Talks about a big move to a new location. This is Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln, all right? So that's one side of the card. Uh, and it says free oil change and free movie tickets, and it has a map to that new location. Huh? How about that? Let's take a look at the other side where it says come see our big brand new space and get some free offers. And look what they have. They've repeated the offer for the free oil change and the free movie tickets, but they also have some additional offers in coupon looking style on that uh, right hand side. So that's specimen number one. Let's take a look at specimen number two. Why, my goodness, it's friggin' huge, as Bernie Sanders would say. Again, a direct mail piece folded this way, but when you open it up, look at what we have here. Like I said, friggin' huge. It's not going to be missed, is it? Three days only. Switch and save. I assume that's talking about trade-ins. There's a scratch and uh, scratch off contest part of it on the back to see what you can win. And of course, when you look at the inside, all kinds of price and item shopping. If you're looking for different cars, different prices, different price ranges, they give you all kinds of options. Not saying that these are the only deals that they've got, but they've got a whole bunch of them. Well, Relative merits of both of these efforts. Are they good, bad, or ugly? Take some time. Uh, go through the video slowly, looking at both specimens. We can't obviously fit them all on uh, uh, one screen, so you'll have to bounce along and check them out, but do so. It'll take you a couple of minutes. Then come to your decision about whether they're both good, bad, or ugly, or is one more goodish, badish, uglyish than the other, and I'll come back and give you my verdict. As I've said before, presentation does count, and this is a, both of these are loud, screaming presentations that demand attention. Obviously, this one is twice as big as this one, uh, but, in fact, it's four times as big because in this case, well, maybe it's eight times as big, because in this case, there's a heck of a lot more room. But both of them accomplish something that's very important. They scream for and get your attention. That is job one of advertising, is to get your attention. The next thing that advertising must do is convert your attention into interest, and both of these do a good job of that as well. The free offers do an excellent job of both converting attention to, attention to interest and interest to desire, and perhaps even desire into action. So this though it's smaller and simpler, is still big enough and bold enough and obeys the tenets of good advertising that it is successful. But you look at this one and that does the same thing in bigger, bolder, and larger fashion. It talks about switch and save. It gives you an offer that has to do with $1,000. It has a first prize of $25,000 in cash in there and then a tremendous number of offers on the inside, but they haven't got forgotten what will be seen because it's folded there, the old scratch-off lottery ticket, see if you win something, 
to engage you, capture your attention, convert it to interest, engage you, get that desire going, and then that call to action. They get that little call to action with a scratch off, hoping to get the big call to action with you coming in there. Frankly, though they are different, they both obey sound, profit-proven principles of marketing. So uh, from the master's point of view, both of these are equally good. Wonder what you have to say about it. What's your relative take on those two car dealer ads? But more importantly, what can you learn from those two car dealer ads? Share your comments below, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and come back again as we continue to help you get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible, right here on BizKaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.